Hi, Sean. Would you be able to just tell me a little bit about your background and uh, your history and why you're here today? Yeah, my background is from a little town in the northwest. Went to America and made more money than I had common sense in the stock market. Money went to my head and I started to throw massive rave and ecstasy parties with it. I'd watch Pulp Fiction blow, Scarface, I thought I was cool and the man and I was above the law. And in the end, they had to pay the price. May 16th, 2002, SWAT team smashed my door down. Ended up in this jail that's got the highest rate of death in America. And my writing got smuggled out about the human rights violations and that's what led to me becoming an author and a public speaker. And tell me about the message you're trying to get across today. Well, I thought drugs were fun and cool because I'd watched the celebrity addicts, seen the movies, seen the music videos. I didn't know what it led to properly. And once I was in the jail and I saw the horror of what the drug use led to, 90% of the guys shooting up heroin, shooting up crystal meth, two-thirds of hepatitis C, slowly killing them, yellow jaundice skin, teeth rotting out. It made me ashamed of putting people on that road of drug use. But I knew I couldn't change my past. So I resolved to go out and share my story with young people and I hope they wouldn't make the same stupid mistakes that I did. What kind of reaction do you think you got from, uh, from the pupils today? This is my second time at this school and it's just been such an amazing reception both times. When I finished and I asked the kids if they have any questions, like almost 200 hands went up and the questions could have gone on all day and it was like that last time as well. And, you know, just to see all this interest and the broad range of questions that they ask just makes me feel really honoured that they're so interested in my story and hopefully it will impact some of them and they won't go down the road that I did. You, how did you originally get into, uh, into touring schools and doing, uh, doing your presentation? When I got released from prison, I did some BBC interviews and a public speaker contacted the BBC, Tony McCall, his name is, out of, out of Harley Street, actually, and he said that he was, w was willing to um, work with me and see if I'd be interested in going to the schools, doing some talks. And that was mostly to private schools, but then I thought, you know, the kids in the state schools need to hear this as well. So I started contacting the state schools myself, and about 80% of what I speak to now is state schools. All right. Yeah. What, um, now part of your presentation, you, you show slides and, uh, and you, you talk to the, the, pu uh, the pupils about your, your stories in prison. What do you think is the most hard-hitting bit of your presentation? The most hard-hitting bit of my presentation is something that I did not get into today because they were too young. I speak to colleges, I speak to universities. And the story about Zena at the end, the transgender prisoner, ends it with a, a prison gang rape and beheading story which is not appropriate for the year nines. Yeah. So out of the context of what I talked about today was probably the images of the young people who came in to prison. They thought the drugs lifestyle was cool and then they'd been attacked by gang members and it showed, I showed images of young people who'd been slashed in the face and you know, one guy had been slashed so bad he, he could stick his tongue out through his cheek. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's an image around um, drug dealing that people think it is cool? Of course they do, that's why young people get into it. They watch these movies and they see the celebrity addicts in the music videos and they think, yeah, fun, cool, a buzz. And I got into it because I thought that and I also thought, you know, it's illegal, the cops and robbers can play this game with the police, are they going to catch me or are they not? And if you've got that addictive adrenaline junkie personality like me, to me that's, that's, that's a high and that's as addictive to lifestyle as addictive as the drugs. So there are so many young people who are born with that, shown in neuroscience, have got this addiction gene. And they're the ones that are really at risk of self-destruction if they go down that road.